to the river this morning and the water went up. It must have rained up a river. But you can see how just nice this insulator is. I could just got it cleaned up. It's beautiful. No scratching on it or cracks. It's just it's just awesome. Um but I'm gonna head to a dump since the water's up a little bit. It's not up high or nothing, but it's up high enough that it's just where I'm looking it'll be bad i won't have a chance of finding much so i'm gonna go where i can find stuff and we almost got this filled so i'm gonna go up there and try to find more marbles you know i might find none i might find two or i might find 25 it just depends but i'm gonna go where i found that cage cat eye i've been finding nice cage cat eyes and other marbles and i found a lot of different variety on that dump from christensen agates German handmaids, alley agates, vitro agates, peltiers, there's everything in here. So that's what we're doing in this video, going to try to get more marbles. I'll get back in the dump. Later, folks. I'm back up here in the dump. Um, thanks, Reesey, for the letter. Um, and thanks for the package, too. I haven't opened it yet. I can't remember what your name is. I'm sorry. But I'm cleaning this out. I'm gonna film the package when I get in too. I'm cleaning this out. Yeah, that's perfect, but looks like an ice cream bowl for ice cream or something. Set it up here, I can't take everything. But right in here is where I found that caged cat eye yesterday and that other kind of unique marble. I'm raking this stuff back and looking at it because I was tired when I was in here. Huh, that looks like some kind of art pottery. It's a shame that's break. It's a little vase. But I will get back to you when I start finding stuff. We're gonna try to get as many marbles as we can. I might move around a little bit. It's cooler today, so I need to take advantage of it. I'll get back. Lay that. It's a shame that's all break up. It says coffee break for a coffee hound coffee hound look it's got a coffee hound coffee lover half cupper weak sister and kid stuff look at that that's pretty cool Seamus busted the champagne of ginger ale is Canada dry and it's small town Wheeling West Virginia and look how nice that is all the ACLs there I'll take that Let it... that'll clean up that's that'll all clean up with spray that's a 10 T4 Dr. Pepper and it's aqua glass. At least there's some ACL sages. I haven't seen a marble yet, but it doesn't mean I'm not gonna get on to them. I got my first marble and it looks really good. It looks like some kind of alley or something. And those marble kings that are digging over there with the collet, these are okay marbles. But these are the kind of marbles I'm looking for. I don't know if you can see it, it's right, right here. It looks like an alley. Nope, it's a Marble King. I thought it was an alley. I was hoping. See, it's a Marble King like them ones over there. These marbles are okay, like I said, but the alley swirls are much better. I saw that up in there and thought that was clear right in there, but it's a Marble King. Um, I'll take it. It's nice condition, but there's, in terms of marbles, this is average. But Oh, you see it? This looks a little better. Get out of here and wipe this off. Oh, it's got another swirl to it. That might be a vitre because of the color. It looks like vitre colors. It's got another swirl, red, darker mar or orange swirl to it. Hold on, let me get it cleaned up. All right, this marble's nice. It's beautiful, vibrant colors. It's orange and darker orange. And you can see it's got a swirl to it. I'd call this a vitro agate, solid color one maybe. It's nice. It had to be melted, didn't it? Look at the legs. That's real early, like car tire rubber marks. And it's a construction worker with a hard hat. And I'd say he was holding like a sledgehammer. That stinks. Um, here I'll show you this too. Um, 
it's a baby bottle and it has ACL and it says a little Jack Horner set on the corner eating his Christmas pie that's a shame that's all screwed up that would have been a cool baby bottle to get in my baby bottle collection but I'm still looking there's all kinds of sages and stuff back in here see there's a there's another piece of this here somewhere a spoon I don't know where it went yeah, that's silver plate I'm pretty sure I saw a marble right in here someplace Who's right in here? There it is. I was right. Let's see. I thought it looked like a yellow cat eye, but it's not. Ooh, that looks pretty nice. It's got a clear base strip around it. Let me get it wiped off. This is a keeper. Well, that's pretty nice. That's a marble king, I would guess. But it's clear base. It's all clear on the inside, and the color's veneered over the outside. Looking at it there, it looks like a Marble King, but it could be a Vitro. It's nice though. Them strips along that white are clear. You can see clear into the marble. That's a good one for the frame. I'm back in here. I haven't been finding many marbles, and I see another one, and I just put that last blue and yellow and white one clear base in my pocket, and here's another one. Oh, right. Oh, folks, it's an alley agate. This baby, oh, I knew I was gonna get on some good ones over here. But look, look at the hole now. I've raked through all of this stuff. It's not as hot today and I got new bug spray. I got deep woods off. The aerosol came to the best. Let me get this cleaned off. This is a smoker. Hold on. Yeah. Oh yeah. This is my favorite one so far. That beautiful baby blue with a nice swirl to it. It's gonna look wonderful in that frame. Little rust staining on it, but that'll all come off and it's just wet mint. There's no play wear or nothing. That's a beautiful marble. It's an alley agate. Man, that's nice. And the baby blue like this isn't a common color. Man. I'm starting to get on concentrations of marbles now. The farther I go, Right up in there is where I found a bunch of them. The farther I go up the hill, the more of them there are. You see it? Beautiful red one right here. Man, this looks nice. Let me get it cleaned off. Chalking them up now, folks. This is some kind of swirl too. Look at it. Red with orange swirls through it. That's new Marble King. I don't know what that is. Look at that orange on it. Man, that's nice. Look at the condition, too. I'm chalking them up now, folks. All right. Later. All right. I got back in the hole and did maybe 10 swipes with the rake, and I got another beautiful one. And I think this is a peltier, peerless patch. It is. Oh, folks, I'm on the good ones again. Oh, and it's got that egg white. Hold on. This one has a little bit of play wear to it. You can see the play wear dings on it there, right there, right there, and a few of these other ones, but it's a keeper. It's a peltier, peerless patch. That's nice. I'm really starting to hit concentrations of marbles right back in there. Um, I got another one and it looks lavender. Oh, it's a vitro, I think. Hold on. Well, I'm pretty sure this is one of these early vitros. See how it's got that clear window looking into it and the color of an eared on the outside? But the only thing is, it's got a manufacturing flaw right there in it, a hole in the marble. And it's a manufacturing flaw. But I'm still going to take it. That's an early vitro agate. Look, see the window going in there and then the big window there. That's still a pretty marble. Well, do you see it? They're down, I think. I'm going to have to look all around in here real good because there's, oh, look at this two-color cat eye. Man, folks, I, I was great to move over here yesterday. Over in that spot where there's just, I'm finding them every minute, they're marble kings. Oh, see how much nicer these are. That looks like a flower. This is awesome. It's turquoise and white, two color cat eye, and it's just outstanding condition. Look at that. Let me wipe it off. Lady. Yeah. No play wear, no damage. Just an absolute smoker. 
Look at that. Bigger than average size, too. Looks like a, a flower, like a coronation or something. My, it glows. Look at it. Man, folks, I'm on fire. It started out slow, too. I mean, I didn't think I was going to find any, and then just boom. Hold on, I'll get back. I'll do some live raking, too. One back here, but see how dry and loose the soil is? I'm seeing them all. I ain't missing nothing. Right? Right here. Oh, man, look at that. That's very unique. It's got lavender on one side. I'd say this is a vitro by looking at it. And then a patch on this side. Let me get it wiped off. Hold on. This might be a vitro, but it kind of looks like a marble king. Looking at it from the side there. But look at that green patch. That's awesome. And then down here, it's got a lavender patch. It looks marble kingish from the side. But I'm not positive. It could be vitro. But that's nice. Man. These are way better marbles than the last video, with the exception of that one green clear base swirl. That was the best marble in my last video. But most of these marbles are better than all of them other ones except that one. I'm on them now. Later. Oh, there's deeper layers here. And these are the kind of bottles I definitely want to be in. This probably says Bolera High on it. But it's an embossed, it's not ACL. It's embossed Bark Street Beer. I'd say it says Bel Air, Ohio, and it's small town. Dr. Pepper Bottling Works, Bel Air, B-E-L-L-A-I-R-E-O. That's nice. I'm putting that right in the bag. I don't have a lot of them, but I have some from the 1940s. Um, I'll get back at you later. cave in there and this one got covered up but I found it another beautiful red one look at that man I'm on them but I this is the first one I found for five minutes at least Wait. see another one do you see it there right here oh it's another one of them red ones look at that oh this has black in it and stuff hold on Look at this. This is a Marble King. Let me get out, get see you can see it better out of the direct, the light. Look at that. It's got black on it and like I don't know, kind of a hunter green in there. That's a beauty. Real nice condition. That's going to look stunning in that frame. Later. Well, do you see it? I was raking this stuff up and this one rolled right back down. It looks like it's going to be a blue cat eye, maybe. I can't tell. It's just a solid blue one, but look at it. It's got melt to it. It's laid on something when there's been a fire. It's messed up. Later. Grab these because this is cracking. There's two more right here. And they're definitely going up that way in that trash. I think I see another one right there. It is. Look there. There's marbles everywhere up the hill. That's cracking though. Ah. Uh, let's see what we got here. Oh, that's an awesome one. Look at that. I thought that was a blue cat eye. It is not. It's a real old vitriol. Oh, I'm on them. I found where they're at. They're going that way. Hold on. Let me get these cleaned off. That's going to crack on me too. Who cares if we have a cave in? I'll... All right, these are the three I found in my last clip. You can see that white one's real tiny, and look at this thing. That's a vit early vitro agate with that veneered color on the outside, and I'd say this is a vitro solid color. That's not Marble King because of the color of it. These are beauties, folks. Look at the condition. Um, I'm going to have to look real good in here. I know there's marbles going right back in there. That's where they're coming from, up in there. So let me get this secured here and get this log out of here, and we'll do some live raking because I'm on. Later. And my, 
when I start seeing them like this, my eyes play tricks on me. Well, that's good. Man, look at them layers back in there. I'll have to clean this out. I'll have to get back to you. Hold on. You see, look at this wall of trash. There's going to be marbles all through it. Look at it. Undug wall of the right age of trash for marbles. And right here's another one. That's a marble king. Those other marbles are way better. But I will take this. That's a pretty marble. Look at it. But this is a common one. These blue and white ones and the green and white ones. These are just common. But still nice to find. And it can look at the condition. But I got a lot of... I'll do some live rakes here. I'm trying to get this cleaned out so it's a little better. And I got to move this because I don't want that to fall on me. Later. These awesome red ones back get this fort caves in they're definitely coming down this hill check out this bad boy i'm gonna have to get some of this out of here oh man these are awesome they're real deep red with other that's even got clear base swirl to it up there and oranges in it man look at the condition too I'll get this out of here. I'm gonna take a drink break and there's gotta be marbles over in here too. We'll find like 20 more and then I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna keep some of this down and rake it out. So much crap in here. I'm gonna have to do a bunch of sawing to get this ready. There's marbles going all up this hill. Over there where I found all them marbles right in there That might even be the tip of the iceberg They might there might be more of them over here. That might just be part of the throwaway um, I Got a big handful of marbles already. I just put them in my coat pocket down there So they wouldn't fall out of my pocket while I was sitting down here But I'm gonna do some cutting here and I'll get back later. We're in much better shape here Well There's a marble Jeez, it's nothing to brag about. I just started. There's an orange marble king cat eye. Um, let me keep this on. Well, I see one in the bank right here. Look at that. There's one right here. Let me let's wipe this off real quick. It's another marble king. I'm gonna find more of them here live. Let me rake into the bank. Two more. Let me get this on my head. Man, this spot might be better than all the other spots. But I'm right close to all the spots I've dug. You know, even over there where that big piece of metal was at, it's only right over there, 15 yards. Um, well, there's another marble. Holy crap. They're everywhere in here, folks. Oh, it's two colors. Let me wipe this one off. I'll be right back. This thing's a showstopper. Hold on. That's sick. It looks like salmon. A salmon color, and it's a blue base marble. And it's just, ah. Oh, these, these are St. Mary's, West Virginia Marble Kings. Um, like from the early 1950s. And you saw me find that bark root beer. It come out of here, and that's a early 50s, late 40s bottle that is awesome going that way i raked up in there i'm gonna have to get this cave down here and cut out because here's another one of these real pretty clear base ones look at that i haven't found none of these that's nice it's real nice condition too man that's beautiful got this a second ago and it's broke but that's a farmer that sat on a plastic tractor i found the tractor before that's how i know but i see a marble king marble i think yep right out of this wall of trash another green and white one just common but i found some nice ones today so now there's marbles up this way too but they seem to be marble kings and these are different throwaways up in this heck you're 25 30 years of trash here Another green and white marble king. I'll get back. This. This looks like a two color cat eye. Oh, it is. Look at this. Hold on. I got to wipe this one off. My goodness. I'm finding nice ones today. Hold on. Yeah, this is like 
I don't know, light pumpkin color with tans. Oh, this is nice. That brown spot on it right there is just rusting from being next to a can in the ground. The condition is immaculate. Oh, man, that's beautiful, folks. Look at it. Yeah, I, I've got that frame filled now. I'll show it at the end. It's a victory. I've filled that frame here in the last two weeks. Played this old soup spoon. And from being in the iron trash, silver will tarnish that green. And I rubbed it a little bit, and you can see the silver coming through. And that's got the right weight to it. So we're going to take this. I'll soak it and clean it up. That might be a silver soup spoon. And it kind of looks like it might be. Hold on. Well, there's a little plastic cat figure. Might be a game piece for a game board. I don't know. Um, might be a cereal prize. Cracker Jack toy. But it's cool. It's all there. Later. You know, the stuff's going that way. I need to get this root ball out of here. And there's concrete blocks and stuff up there in a stump. I can't have that stuff falling on me. But look at this. It's a rubber. It's rubber, like car tire rubber. Three of the four wheels are there. There's one there. Um, I probably should take them wheels in case I find another one that's close. But it's just messed up enough that I can't take it. What's it say on it? Auburn. It probably says he made it up in there, but it's all muddy. It's an Auburn fire truck. That's cool. Um, I'm going this way. If that stuff's in there, there's old marbles up in here. That's why I'm finding old marbles. I'm in another throwaway place here for kids' toys. And hopefully I can find some really good marbles. Some more. It's going to start raining anytime. So when that does, I'm going to leave. But I'll dig till then. Later. stuff in here that's a shame that's broke that looks like a hummel maybe uh it's busted but i got another beautiful marble right right out of this wall here let's see what we got oh man it's a vitro hold on let me clean it off that black line there next to the yellow right there is clear base look you can see it there now um it's got a blue blended patch on one end. That's beautiful. That might even be a Marble King St. Mary's, but it looks vitro-ish to me. I'd say it's a Marble King though from the side there. But I'll get back at you. I found bigger bottles with this AA embossed on them. They're whiskeys. It's a federal law whiskey, but I've never found one this size. I might take it. It's a half pint size. I've never seen it. But I'm still looking. It's gonna. I think it's raining now, but it's going to. I'll have to leave pretty soon. And my dog's at the house by itself, so I can't stay forever. Boy, I got this tree to fall. It's like, uh, uh, see, that opens it up a little. Yeah, it's like that was going to be a hillbilly Mountain Dew, but it's just a no deposit i'll get back i'm gonna break some more of this stuff out of here back in there is where the good marbles were coming from so that's what we're going for but, yeah this is all my handiwork even over there way over there all this week and look what we got we got her opened up this is a lot better i need to knock this piece off and but i've done all of this today and I haven't been here forever. Um, I'm gonna take a drink break and I'm gonna find one more marble and then I'm gonna leave. Later. Yeah, I found this laying down on one of my throw out piles. That's early marks. It's a duck bill dinosaur. We'll take that. That's kind of cool. It's definitely a duck bill. But I'm getting in my pocket and getting out the marbles I got in here and putting them in the pocket of my coat there. Look at all these. Look at them two color cat eyes. And these ones on the end, I don't have any like that for that frame. These are beautiful. 
Um, I'm gonna get a drink and then I'll get back in the hole for another marble and then I'm leaving, like I said. See that rock there? I pulled this rock out and a, a nice cake fell down out. It's deep hat, but ah, oh, I don't have this. Harrisonburg, Virginia? What the heck? All right, let me get this wiped off. This is a great find. Later. Yep, Harrisonburg, Virginia. And I'd say this one, the dates are on the side here from the 40s, I would guess. Right there's the date. Um, 44. 1944, Harrisonburg, Virginia. That's a nice bottle. No caseware to it. Take that. I'll get back. This is the way they were going, and I was correct. I got another marble. Um, it's right here. It looks awfully nice. Oh, it's clear base. Look at that orange. Hold on. Let me get this cleaned off. This is a beauty. Look at that. It's all clear base. It's got a milky white pat or veneer over it with orange. It's just nice condition. Beautiful marble. Man, look at that. Wow. Um, this is where I wanted to be. I shouldn't even have been farting around over there. When I found them several marbles together, it was right in here. And all them red ones fell out of here. They're right in this layer right here. It's starting to rain. You can see, well, I don't know if you can tell. It's We're supposed to get thunderstorms 70% today, a.m. and p.m. So I'm going to get rained on and I'm just going to leave when it starts raining. I'm going to go, for, I said one more marble, but I'm going to rake in here a few more minutes. Well, I raked out several things, and this is just an absolute heartbreaker right here. But I'll do this first. This says Ed Edgar W. Mullman, Complete Insurance Service, phone 483-1745, Hannibal, Ohio. Um, and this is busted. That's an old break, but look at that milk product. That is the coolest milk bottle I've ever seen, and it's all embossed up, and it has a phone number on it, too, and this is extremely rare. It says the Modern Dairy Company, New Martinsville, W.VA, phone 59. Ah, oh, I'm going to take that just because it's so rare, the faceplate, but you won't see another one of these, I can tell you. There, you can see it all. You won't find this for sale. This would have been at least a month maker. It's got a crack in it here, plus it's broke. That's a shame. But look how deep I am. I got this, the, um, the base layer of the dump goes deeper this way. So I ought to be in business the next time I come. That's a stinking shame. And there's another one of them Mark plates. I'll probably take that, because I have a bunch of that. It's a popular pattern. I find this cups and everything but I'll get back I'm gonna find one more thing and leave that's just a shame on that milk Later. well I guess I got something else here right away there's a marble and I thought it had red on it, but it's just a blue Marble King. All oh, that's rust staining. It'll all clean off. I'd say I got that frame filled for sure now. But man, that's a shame on that milk. Man, that's a shame. That's almost worthy of crying over. I'm gonna have to take a few of these. Look how nice these sunspots are. And they're Marietta High. Take it. I like that Coke. Man, it's a shame on that milk. I found this too. I didn't show it. It's a little broken figurine. It looks like a panda bear or a mouse or something. They're definitely going this way. There's another just smoker. 
Oh, look at this with the white patch and oh, folks. Let me get this cleaned off. This is awesome. This is nuts. It has an orange patch right on one end. It's clear base and then it's got a milky white. Oh, this is nice and it's perfect. It's got bubbles all in it. I don't even know what to call that. If that's a pelty or what, that's awesome. Look at it. Man. Oh, it's just another beauty. It's a vitro agate. An early one with the color veneer on it. Well, oh. I mean, it's just a smoker. Baby blue with the clear. You can see. Clear, completely clear base with the veneer over the outside. There's older stuff in here. I'm seeing milk bottle tops now, so you know you gotta look around. I'm gonna do a little bit more. It's sprinkling now and the rain's coming. Um, see, I'm finding toy cars. Look at that Jeep. Um, I got a low battery, it's on 5%, so I'm only gonna be able to stay a few more minutes. I'll bring two batteries tomorrow and I'll live rate. All right, I'm on 4% and it's starting to rain harder and the wind's blowing. But you can see the damage here. I've done all of this today. You saw the hole when I started, it wasn't very big. Right here's another one. It's a beauty. It's real pretty. It's clear base, it's smaller than usual too. Let me wipe it off here real quick. I only got 4% battery. Um, I'll probably cut some clips, but I got a bunch of cool stuff. Been finding a bunch of... Yeah, look at that. Nice. Well, we'll be back in this hole in my next video where I'll be arrowhead hunting. I already got enough for an arrowhead hunting video, but I'll probably go a few times. The water might be up if it rains more. See, there's a leg off of a, a ceramic doll. There's just all kinds of stuff in here. Little toys, and I'm back in milk bottle era stuff. Um, this is going to get good. Later. Well, I was getting ready to go, and I thought I'd clean my hole out and look through the stuff. Had a cave in, and I see a vitro agate. I've found these before. That's why I know what it is. <laughs> look at this. Man, there's marbles everywhere in here. I'm happy. Oh, man, let me get this wiped off. These ones are beautiful. It's definitely a vitro agate. All right, that's a good one to stop on. You can see the damage here. I got a good wall going, it's sheltered. I'll get all this big wood out of here and stuff and cut this stuff out, these vines and stuff out on the next trip and get this all cleaned out and we'll do some live raking. So make sure you subscribe if you love this kind of stuff. That's a beautiful vitro agate. Man, I've really found this stuff today. I just found this little plastic pipe it's a toy pipe and this says tepco usa china t-e-p-c-o it's a nice heavy like soup mug or coffee mug um but that'll be it for now i'm not gonna stay any longer you can see there's raindrops on my shovel um but a good one to stop on look at that and we'll look at the frame of marbles i've been working on like in the past week and a half for all dug you can see the damage I've been digging all this. I found just insane marbles right in there. There's got to be good ones here, too. Man, another victory, folks. I'm not so happy. Later. Well, you can see I did it in like a week and a half, just hammering it up there. Got some nice ones today. Look at that blue and white cat eye there and this big cat eye that's two color. And these two marbles here, I did measurements on them and stuff and looked them up online. They're both Christiansons. And they're wet mint. They're just ridiculous. It's hard to tell what's going to come out of there. And today was a real good day. I got lots of nice variety today. And look how nice that marble frame looks. That's a big frame of marbles for a week and a half. All different manufacturers. All right. Um... I had some other clips on this one of people that sent in. Some woman made Squirrel Man these blankets. Rick and Kathy wear, um, I believe, from Wisconsin. Um, and Squirrel Man loves them. He's got one in his box. And he's been in. Tell him you've been laying on them, rubbing your face on them. And you love them. You love them, don't you, Squirrel Buddy? Squirrel Man got some blankets with real soft stuff. And look... 
this one has knots on it. You got a knot blanket even. You're crazy. You're crazy, squirrel man. And then I got this letter from Ruth Lansing and I already read it on video, but this video is too long. So I'm gonna have to put them on another one that where I don't find as much because this video is a half hour and I don't want to cut it. I've already cut 20 minutes of clips from today. So other bottles and stuff that's just not gonna make the cut. But we gotta, Squirrel Man's gonna make the cut. Tell him, Squirrel Man, you gotta be on the video. Tell him you're a good boy and you got blankets and you love them. And you love them. What a good boy. I was missing you too. I was missing you too, buddy. It hurts. You're clawing me. Look at these little claws. They're sharp. You're clawing me. What's going on? I like you too, buddy. What a good boy. What a good boy. All right, well, here's my pet squirrel, the Squirrel Meister. He's been in action all day. And Ruthie sent some sunflower seeds and he ate a pile of them. Tell him you ate a pile of them. You love them. You love them. What? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Well, anyway, folks, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm really on the marbles this last couple weeks. But it's a nice dry layer, and I'm seeing them all, and it's, it's good conditions, and I'm on a pretty good dump right in the right age of bottles. And now I'm hitting milk bottles. So... Hopefully I can get some real nice milks too this week. Well, anyway, thanks for watching and make sure you subscribe because I'm a digging machine. I'll be back in a day or two with a video. Later, folks.